NWO Report World News. While today's electronics and applications make our lives easier and simpler, we often forget the cost to privacy in our connected lives. Let's take a look at a few common electronics and applications that are spying on you and collecting your personal and sensitive information in your home. Number one, the Roomba electric vacuum cleaner. Now this cleaning device not only collects dust, it also collects your personal information, according to the experts. Now the vacuum cleaner is embedded with advanced mapping technology that allows it to learn and collect data on the floor plans of your home, which is then sold or shared with companies such as Apple, the spy king Google, and Amazon. Number two, smart TVs. Now while smart TVs allow you to connect to the internet directly, they can also be used to collect your data. For example, a new technology called T-Vision Insights allows companies to monitor TV watchers viewing habits. This means that they can literally watch you as you watch TV. They even record data on where your eyes are looking when you're distracted and what emotions you're conveying. In early 2015, Samsung warned its customers, quote, please be aware that if your spoken words include personal or other sensitive information, that information will be among the data captured and transmitted to a third party. Now, Vizio TVs was fined $2.2 million for collecting and selling footage from millions of its TV users without their knowledge. When Vizen was fined, it had already had sold 11 million smart televisions. What's really eye-opening here is, is you watch your TV, but with this hack, your TV can watch you. Show us how that works. So one of the things that we were able to do with the Smart TV platform was actually um, abuse the, the browser it, to, to the extent that we could actually gain access to the camera that's built into the TV. Right. And so what we can prove here is that with a little bit of extra code, we can turn the camera on in your browser. Wow. And while this is evident to you right here because, we, uh, because we've designed it that way, this is something that we can do invisibly and actually have the camera running behind the web page that you're, that you're looking at. So what this means is I could be sitting here watching TV from my, from my bedroom and you could be anywhere in the world looking at this image of me watching. Yep, I could be sitting on a laptop in a cafe in Paris. And as long as I have a network connection, I'd be able to get into your TV and access the camera. Now here's one way to actually stop your smart TV from being smart and spying on you. And that's to simply not connect it directly to the internet. If you need to be connected to the internet using your smart television, use something like a laptop or a desktop computer and connect it to your smart television. That way the applications on the smart television itself will not be activated because you have it directly connected to the internet. Number three, Google. Now, when it comes to spying, the least said about Google, the better. The internet search engine is secretly recording everything you do. It records your voice, text messages, videos you send. You could literally read all of your texts you sent years ago and even listen to the conversations you've had. Now, the company also tracks every move you make on a daily basis. Number four. Snapchat, the image messaging and multimedia mobile application has location settings that allow you to share your location with friends at all times. Your snap map, if enabled at all times, allows all of your Snapchat friends to see where exactly you are located, even if it means your precise home address. Now the application is so advanced that it can even tell when you're driving in a car or in an airplane. Number five, Pokemon Go. Now this smartphone game specifically tells users that they are sharing their locations, storage, photo, and camera with the company and that they reserve the right to collect and share that data with third parties, including potential buyers in the government. If iOS users log in through their Google account, they automatically share their information with the creators of Pokemon Go, essentially handing over pretty much all information related to their Google account, including their Gmail, Google Drive, Google Maps, and more. And finally, number six, PlayStation. The gaming console records and monitors all of your activity while using it. Now, PlayStation 4 uses voice commands, which means the device is listening to you even when you're not using your headset to speak to other players. Further, it can collect data and generate information on your personal preferences.
Now, these six examples of hardware and software spying on you in your home is just scratching the surface. I'll make a further video in the future explaining more things in your homes that are spying on you on a daily basis. Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>